Hey all this is Zerse, and welcome back to Long War 2, the true hangover. Uh, we just finished off that last mission, no one died, thankfully someone got badly injured, Arkbird has taken a seat for a little while. I was debating about Stoop Close promotion, I mean, and I, I still stand by the fact that combustion would be really, really useful. It would be really, really useful. But, it's Zombie Bob. How can we not have Zombie Bob on the team? My god, what was I thinking, honestly? I feel, I feel like I betrayed myself and my, my ex-com compadres. Like, we gotta have Zombie Bob. It's just ridiculous to have anything but. Can we shift over? I need to staff these. Um, I already have Spike, Leroy, and uh, Dr. Stupko in there doing work. So let's have them defatigue themselves. As you can tell, we are... You know... Uh... I probably wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father. He was. Oh, it's so the chatting. Anyways, so we have these people getting out of getting fatigue. We're gonna jump around a little bit, and miracle. hopefully, we we'll get out of there okay. The fact sure that War Dog got promoted to but we'd still be half Spec Ops. If he hadn't. He gave everything I wonder he had if that's actually right. gonna be useful. If I should switch him out. Live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. I think I would. Uh, wouldn't mind. Uh, I try one of the new classes. We have the tank and the shock trooper and stuff. I'm gonna try the shock trooper out. So we haven't used that one ever before, and it could be pretty interesting. Uh, soldier abilities. Here you go. So we got shock trooper. We got momentum. If you move, you gain bonus dodge, and you get 20 dodge, and you have the ability to use your little handheld fire starter. So it could be pretty cool. I never used this class before, but it's in a close range kind of fire starter mobility class. It could be fun to get the flanks on. We'll see how that shakes out. So made him a shock trooper just for shits and giggles. We'll get him out there too. Uh, our only specialist is out for a bit and we don't have a GTS yet, so poop on you. Anyways. Local resistance forces in the area can get you into the site, but you will need to make contact with their network first. This is only the beginning, Commander. Your leadership will be a beacon to our people across the globe. Commander. Thank you. You're not going to believe this. We just picked up a signal from an emergency locator beacon. It's definitely one of ours. We will do that in a minute. I do want that recovered cargo, but I also want this engineer it early. crazy. But if there's any chance some of our people could still be out there, I think we owe it to them to find out. Like I'm going to definitely get this because this is the new, the, the shadow fall and kind of more guaranteed ways to do damage. And that's going to be important, but I really want this engineer. Nice. Okay. Uh, yep, I'm gonna begin an excavation yesterday because that's really really important. Let's start excavating this Yep Excavate You must excavate and that's gonna give us a lot of uh, Debris as well. We'll start on this debris too as soon as that gets done That's critical for us. How are we doing in the armory? Are we out of fatigue yet? We are fatigued in a couple days yet. That's fine. We'll increase that. That's fine. Let's jump back to here and let's get the, Avenger hopefully we'll get the cargo the before course. the next mission. We'll see how it shakes out though. Our income is pretty good for starting off. We got a pretty rich area, so that should be fine. But I definitely want the recovered cargo. These weapons are going to be critical. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander. Excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulation. See, this is why it's the hangover. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It, it is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Thank you, Tagan. Excellent report, as always. Man's got his stuff down. Man has got his stuff down, the so... The officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. 
The implanted chip is the key. So, uh, we have another lockbox which we can run up, and I think we're gonna do that. Any more advanced weapons that we can get, we're gonna be in better shape. I think we need one scientist to do the sectoid autopsy. That's fine. I want to get this going. I foresee a number of valuable applications. You could argue I should be doing other stuff early, but those early weapons are really going to make the difference in offering tactical flexibility. Ah, damn it. We're like a two hours off of doing this. Dr. Sririta Watanasen. Rescue VIP from a rioting city. 106 Intel and a scientist. That sounds like a good deal if I ever heard one. Setting course for and we were literally like, what, 20 hours from getting that one done? I'm gonna check it out as soon as we can fly back out. Uh, let me see. We still have some fatigue. That's not good. Two days. Okay, so I'm not as pissed about that. But even with the enhanced fatigue reduction, it feels like we're still gonna fatigue out. 18 hours. It's a matter of hours, people. Hours! And that's bull, as far as I'm concerned. We're gonna have to start taking some fatigue, people, unfortunately. Uh, let me clear everyone out, see what our flexibility is. But I don't think we can actually do anything besides. If we take wounds, though, it's gonna be really bad. So we have only Leroy at six hours. So you don't have fatigue then. No, you don't actually have fatigue. Okay. That would have made a lot more sense. That would have made a lot more sense. Um, let's see. No Leroy. Uh, he's gonna have to sit out though. The gunner's gonna sit out. But yeah, I was wondering, I'm like, that doesn't make sense. We should have gotten out of fatigue by now. And we did. That was an artifact. And that means I'm kinda okay with it. I'm going to take two rookies on this, which, you know, we're going to need to get out. There's Jackson Blades and Cochran. I'm going to be out there having some fun. Uh, let's make the utilities. We haven't get any new gear uh, since the last time, so I'm probably going to keep the same weaponry here. Uh, we didn't get any new armor, so that was really totally unnecessary, practically speaking. Yep, it was. <laughs> it was. No utility items, no new ammo slots. We just have kind of what we have. All right. And our research is actually just a couple hours out, too, probably. Yeah, I'm really sad about that, actually. I'm really sad about that. Now, wait a minute. Did that say 20 hours till it expires? Hold on. Expires in 19 hours. Okay. And we need how much time for a gunner? Because if we could take our gunner, I'd probably be happier about that. You are fatigued out in five. I mean, you're out of fatigue in five. You know what I mean. Yeah, I'm going to push it, actually. Because that would work to me pretty well, I think. Avenger Can we fly it out just here? Course. How much time did that do? I mean, this is the only way I can do this safely, I think. Expired in 17 hours, so that's a two-hour flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna... Okay, it's not gonna let me do this intelligently. All right, we're gonna have to fly around a little bit here. Fly in there. Setting we're gonna jump out. I want to do this precisely. Eastern every United every States. good encounter is born early, so this could seem a little silly um, from your end, folks. But uh, it's trust me, it's critical for making sure we get a good start on this. It is a legend run. I want to make sure we do the best we can. One hour left, so we're gonna jump out again. Fly out to the other mission site. Avenger. Plot then we're gonna fly out course. to this mission site. Then we'll be able to take this mission on. That'd be perfect. I wish you can actually tick up by saying, like, I need to pass exactly this amount of time. There you go. Setting course and this will get us out of fatigue, US and we're going to be able to handle this mission at that point. Perfect. Okay, so now we can bring our gunner and just one rookie, which is going to be critical. So let's get rid of, um, who's on the list last? I think Cochran is on the list last. Yeah, so Jackson Blaze will come in, and we'll get Noah Leroy, or Leroy, Leroy, Leroy in there. Perfect. Okay, so that I'm happier with. Uh, we can get everyone who's got something resembling promotion. You've got a shotgun too now. Maybe I should give you the defenestrator. Because you're already our close range specialist. I'm probably gonna give you the basic assault rifle because your aim is better, man. I'll give you the defenestrator because you're gonna be critical in getting that close in. So what is the new assault? I haven't checked the new classes yet. I kind of know what Spec Ops does. Obviously I obviously know what the Necromancer does. Uh, we have a couple options here on the Shock Trooper and I, I played a little bit of this class so I kind of have a general idea. How this works, what are your abilities exactly for an assault? Let me just take a quick look. Obviously, flesh slash, and we have run and gun. Okay, so that's basic, the usual stuff. And we can get CQC, we get CQC. We do, or CCS. I call it CQC because I'll be damned if it's not CQC, but anyway, let's go. Rescue this scientist. We have another action scientist. I hope we do. Action scientist with the tits. Love me some action scientist, man. Ranger. In position to drop. Sky Ranger in flight. We're moving 
in to try and pull off an emergency rescue operation for the resistance. The spokesman gave us the coordinates of a VIP currently being held by Advent forces in this area. We need to secure the site, remove any hostiles standing in our way, and free the prisoner. Oh shit! This is one of the siege missions, isn't it? Oh damn, that's right, and we're in Quebec, Stupco. Oh, um, no, of course, not Quebecois, he's French. But anyway, at least you'll be able to speak locally. Oh, it's a siege mission. Okay. <laughs> well, that's gonna be fun. Oh, these get messy. These get messy. Luckily, we don't have a time limit on these, though, so that's fine. As long as we do smart engagements, we should be okay. And we have a spec ops with us, so he'll give us our scouting if we need it. We can do some silent takedowns. That'll probably be to our benefit here. Gotta be careful, though. We're gonna have to really try to hold this one out. Early on, these siege missions are scary. We don't have our special we have tools either. Got a pack there and a pack to our left. All we saw that. Now, I don't know if we can get to the high ground here easily. Well, there's a pipe that we can get to. We saw definitely something there. Turns until reinforcements. What? I'm confused. I thought this was turns until uh, the Sky Ranger's back. Until Firebrand is back. So where is our target? Our target's in here, in this detention center, I guess. So we need to extract the VIP. Where's our extraction? Is it pick your own extraction site? I don't see a given extraction site anywhere. Oh, we can extract like this. Oh, so this is getting get out and go home. Okay, so that's a little different than the mission I thought. This was going to be a siege mission. But the constant reinforcements are going to be an absolute bother. Alright, we're going to need to be able to go in through here. Might be able to blow through a wall, but going up on this high ground then would be advantageous. Alright, so that's my plan. Uh, Bizonets, where were you? You were just there. Yeah. You are spec ops, so why don't you tell me what we're looking at here. I saw a pack that didn't much like. I saw armor on something already, and that's not great. No, it's just the advent heavy. Okay, that could be a lot worse. Another sectoid soldier. So not a lot of MC. It's going to be just a lot of gunning. Gonna try to get up. Is there any other way up this building? No, there is not. Oh, look at that. Look at that svelte man right there. Don't you want to look like that advent guy? Collaborator fashion. The best things for you today. All right. Closing on target position now. Tag it. Close. Close on the tag it. Do we have uh, civvies in here? I don't think we do. Let's get up here. 10 4. And Jackson Blades, kind of the same deal. We want to get up to this high ground as soon as possible and drop that ambush fast. Apparently, we're going to be constantly dealing with reinforcements otherwise, so that's not awesome. Let's try to get out of here as fast as possible. So we do need to hit that objective and get moving. I mean, reinforcements aren't the worst thing in the world. It's just, it'll probably blow us, um, blow our cover if that happens. But I'm not sure if that's under the timer, actually. I wonder if that's under the true concealment timer. Now, the reinforcements actually won't show up until we blow concealment. Let's see if that actually ticks down. You're moving left, and that's fine. Does it actually tick down? It does not tick down until we go loud. Okay, great. So I can slow this down a little bit. I was trying to do the whole, like, panicky fast movement thing, but I guess we'll be okay. Understood. Let's keep an eye out here. Out. Unless we reveal a pack here, and that would be problematic. No, we're okay. We do have an eye on the Advent Heavy. I don't think they'd have eyes on me here. I'm going to quickly take the corner just to be safe. I don't want to get overlapped. Let's see. So where your vision does not extend to the high ground here. That's fantastic. Okay, that's really, really good. So we're going to be able to get a bunch of folks up close and personal. We should be totally fine. And Bizonet's got uh, his move could use a bit more work for sure. Maybe depending on his silent takedown to handle the sectoid at some point. Because sectoids, again, are still flimsy, still fragile, and go down to melee pretty easy. Doctor, the necromancer, is still a little behind the times. A little slow, but he's got that heavy, he's got the weight of a bunch of dead dudes in his mind. He's got the spirit of Bob trailing him, weighing him down a little bit until it's released into a corpse form. That's my head cannon. that's why he's slower than everybody else. Okay, here's something going through a window. But this looks like it could be a very, very, very good ambush. Provided we have the right setup, which we're gonna have here. So we're gonna get, um, so are you clear here? You are definitely clear to sit here. 
Because remember, Stupko has ridiculously good aim. Like, ridiculously good aim. We're going to probably use Bisonette for the silent takedown. But if he's sitting in front of the surveillance tower, it's not going to help us much. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get up here. Um, I'm trying to think what's best here. His movement is going to help us with the dodge. Who are we going to set up in that corner? Probably Leroy is going to go there. Uh, Spike, yeah. I think we're going to set up other folks like this because I need a move in order to fire with War Dog to get the extra dodge. Because that would be advantageous. Our new rookie can sit here. And I don't see anything with grenades. I see just a soldier and a heavy. So we should be fine. Mad Dog may be jumping down and, and mad dogging uh, on this sectoid pretty quick. Affirmative. And the shotguns are still pretty good at range, not as good as you'd like. And the bisonette is going to be probably Moving to position. very important in getting that sound taken out if we really Orders desperately confirmed. need it. Alright, in case we get Forward. revealed here by something, Jack I'm going to set up some overwatches. Overwatch. No, no, come here, come here, come here. Don't go far, don't go far, don't go far. Stay here, stay here. Damn it! Someone has eyes on a heavy still. Yes, you do. Oh, glorious day. Alright, we're going to try to drop that heavy. 80% is good enough for me. Should we set an ambush? Set a ambush. We could, but the poison is going to be too important of a flexible... Um, who are we going to ambush with? Is it just going to be Jackson Blades for now? Let's ambush with Jackson Blades. From the, the high ground. Bizonette's going to be potentially called upon to do that. There's a lot of... I mean, I have a lot of movement with this feller, too. Alright, fuck it. Let's take this shot. It's about as good as we're going to get. Might be able to get a kill here if we're lucky. And we missed the 80%. Of course we did! Because that is the XCOMs. Come closer, young one. Come closer. We must speak with you. Five damage. Not bad. Not bad, rookie. We have a couple options on this. We do have silent takedown here, potentially. But that would definitely reveal regardless because of the uh, security tower. So if I can keep that flexibility alive, I'd be much happier about it. Can't do too much. I can hit a couple flanks, I think. But I'm not too happy with what I'm seeing here. I can run and gun to the flank here. It's just a bit risky without knowing what's up there. Can we clear that situation up a little bit? If Top Notch could tell me if we're about to run into another pack, that would be great. And this way I can almost set up for a flank if I need to. Yeah, I mean, I do want to have him available for the sectoid as well. But given the odds of... Uh, we have to basically move over here to peep what we're looking at. Hmm. Yeah, you don't not you don't quite have the movement range on this. I actually do want to see, though. I want to see if there's another pack out there. We'll obviously put him into cover if need be, or we'll run a flesh if we really need to. Looks like we'd be okay, in my opinion. So we'll move you, we'll move to cover, don't worry, Spike, you're not going to be left hanging out here. You're not going to be left high and dry. Um, but that means I can use Mad Dog 2020 to get up here and get a shotgun on that heavy, which may provide a kill if we need it. Yeah, get down there. You're going to depend on her to get the kill. The shotgun from close range, the shotgun from close range is good shit. 95%. It's about as good as we're going to get. And it's right on the money. Big deal. Right on the money. Okay. So, War Dog is not going to have vision on that sectoid. That sectoid behind that particular position is quite your irksome. What we can do is get our Necromancer to put a poison on him. That's going to help us out a bit. Yeah, I wish I had the, uh, the range on But that sectoid was smart. It kind of decided to get the hell out while it could. If we get a decent poison on it, that'd be worth its weight in gold, though, I think. If we can get range... I don't think we can get range, though. We need to get closer to get the poison successfully. That'd be basically here. And there's no cover on this side of the door. On the, the top ground, rather. The high ground. The words, they're escaping me right now. Well, we can go ahead and try to get a ping here. I mean, we might as well. We're not gonna get a high ground shot. What did you... Oh, you seriously? Seriously? God damn it, civilian! Oh, that was shitty. So now we don't even have silent takedown if we need it. That sucks. That sucks the big one. 
That really sucks, the big one. All right. Well, we're going to set up a poison. You are now, unfortunately, very, very, very visible. And not a lot of options to go around. That was going to be my trump card. He's not going to know. He's going to run forward in me. But now, thanks to that civilian, we got caught out. I'm on the move. Too many damn civvies, man. That's a serious problem we've been dealing with. Ah, Let's get that up here. Get the poison down, at least. Then we can get a corpse up. I'm going to get the poison on first. This reduces aim as well. So this should keep everyone on the ground a little safer. Get a creepy sclera in that sectoid's eye. These poison for how many rounds is the question. Poison for? Five turns. Wow. Okay, so he's down to one HP after this. And if I could take the 21%, that'd be pretty sexy. Don't we have another move up here? I oh, definitely took the Overwatch. Okay. So I can either take the shot or take the Overwatch. Let's take the Overwatch. Overwatch. Sector's not going to be happy. He's going to try to run. If we can get him on the run, that might be pretty interesting. He might just take a shot, too. But the poison is going to reduce his aim. He's going to just sit in Overwatch camp. Alright, well, if that's the case, we don't have any convenient way of breaking Overwatch. Or do we? We can suppress off Overwatch, can't we? Yes, we can. I'm um, taking the reload and the suppression. We gotta run my gunner, actually. This is probably the solution we need. And look, the reinforcements don't, uh... Don't take off until we maybe we spring the VIP, I think. Overwatch or move, yep. Bingo. Alright, fair enough. So, our little, uh... So we have, we're one tile away from getting a solid flank, and that's the zone wall. So we're not gonna run into anything funky there. So we should raise a zombie, I think, for certain as one of our moves, because that's gonna help us overall and get some more bodies on the problem. So we can try to go for a slash here, a flesh, at 92, which is pretty freaking solid. Top notch, can you do a flesh? You can't do a flesh. Looks like Mad Dog's gonna be doing the Mad Dog stuff. Alright, Mad Dog. I say we try the flesh. This is, uh, as good odds as we're gonna see. Ooh, our assaults are assaulting. Very nice. And we got the goods, which is important. Got something! Illyrium core in another lockbox. Sexy. I dig I it, baby. It. I dig it. So that's the only thing that is currently active. Um, now, unfortunately, we don't have concealment anymore. I was really counting on still having that. Uh, barring anything to the contrary. But looks like we can take our time and move to the objective, so that's totally fine. Let me do that. Uh, you, I want to keep moving, because you have the high dodge quotient. Okay, nothing active yet. So listen for that. Stoop Crow, you're gonna... Oh, you didn't even need to reload, because you don't have anything to reload with. Let's dig a zombie raise. Now, this could potentially trigger another pack. Am I ready for that if that happens? What the hell? Looks like we'll be fine. It's literally not gonna trigger. Alright. Affirmative, moving out. Moving out. I mean, the best... The spec ops are best when they're still concealed, so I'm a little sad that we lost that. It's alright. So yeah, no more turns to ring the reinforcements. We can't hack anything. I'm probably in favor of trying to stay to the high ground here and taking our time to the objective. On the move. So obviously, we're going to have some we'll issues uh, if we try to get caught out position. in the middle ground here. So you ready. need to take a reload on that gun, Scorpion. buddy. Kind of bunch you up and move as one pack, one group. Try to get rid of the groups that are already on the ground. Then when you spring the VIP, we need to get ready. I'm probably going to try to... Try to fight the siege off, courtesy of this high ground here. This is a lot of really nice high ground positions that we can use uh, in case anything drops behind us. So we're gonna be we're gonna be fighting off the siege, and this is the same mission that we had last time. I remember uh, last time meaning the stream right, missions. I'll go. Yeah, yeah, you're kicking butt already. You don't need to be freaking so snide about it. Ready to engage. Is it? I do find it kind of funny though that the critical oh, hit gun watch. from close range pretty much hasn't gotten critical hits. Like the shotgun has gotten zero critical hits. Thus far, it's hilarious, even though I put the thing on. I'm not gonna move my zombie yet. Advent heavy, zombie friend! Alright. Let's keep going. Why can't we get to high ground here? Oh, there's just one... We can't get to high ground. Uh, we need someone who can actually get to cover and get to high ground. Is there anyone that can do that? Or we can use the zombie as the, uh... The is it safe button. Alright. Advent heavy zombie. You're gonna let me know if we got friends. It looks like we're clear up to the high ground here. Yep. 
Zombie says clear. All right, so we're going to start making our way to the VIP holding cell. Looks like we need to go through this door or in down the roof. Is there a way to go into the building from here? We probably can break it out, but there could be a pack sitting inside the building. We kind of saw one, I remember, early on as we were zooming over, kind of sitting there. So we'll keep that in mind as we move forward. It's always all about intel. These early missions are so important to get right. I really don't want to just go up and shag something completely. Ugh, it'd be bad. Mm -hmm. And let's get Mad Dog up here. What's over there? I want to keep this tight because in case something does come up on us, I want to make sure we have a lot of Overwatch available. On Overwatch. And those moves are all safe thanks to the zombie. So again, I mean, as much as I like combustion and it would have helped, uh, having a zombie to scout for us is pretty tight. So you know what? It's kind of when we lose our spec ops. Concealment. The zombie is there for us. Always there. Always willing. Zombie 316 or something. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Let's see. Uh, what's this? Why are we not... Does that mean there's an alien right there? This could very well mean there could be an alien right here. Or a civilian. That could be where that civilian decided to camp out to. Well, either way, we're going to have to figure this shit out. Um, give me this. Rolling. Civilian. Okay, good. I was like, oh, god damn. They snuck up on us. Yeah, so far we're not seeing much. But let me get onto the roof at least. We get high ground positions for most of our roof. folks. We got trees on the roof, man. Advent. All about the whole putting plants where they shouldn't be. Alright, get on up here. Uh-huh. No, no, no. I need I need everyone up here. Oh, Mad, uh, Mad Dog really needs a little more movement. She can dash pretty well. I haven't seen issues with her dash movement. It just feels like her basic movement seems... They leave a lot to be desired. I'm going. But yeah, I'm going to take my sweet time with this, because there's a, this is a long mission. And we don't want to burn consumables unless we absolutely have to. Lest we get uh, serious trouble. Yep, take it overwatch. And zombie, don't take any more vision. But I do want to get you closer so you can charge a direction. And we'll just end the turn there. Where are the packs? There we go! Sectoid and a drone. I'm not sure if there's a third thing there, but we'll find out soon enough. 54% chance. It was pretty good odds. 42% chance also missing. We got two drones and a sectoid. Oh, he's got his mechanical buddies here. His little mechanical vibrators. Sticking that pectoid at... Ah, I'm going to stop there. We got a, we, we've got a connection there, I think. We got four damage down. That's not bad. This is why we have all the Overwatch. Buckshot at 50 paces. That's a Saint special. That's tough to that's tough to duplicate. Buckshot at 50 paces is rough. No, no. VIP is not in tow. No, no, no. no. VIP is not in tow. I'm not even close to the VIP. Okay, that's a glitch. That is a serious glitch. Because uh, we got reinforcements already incoming. Uh, even though we really, really shoot. And they're going to drop right behind us. And we just activated a pack. Alright, that's... <sighs> I hate bullshit like this. But that's exactly what happened. We just got we just got hit by... We got struck by a smooth bullshit. Uh, that's really, really unfortunate. We may need zombie to give us some cover here. I am not keen on what just happened. Probably going to need Mad Dog here to watch this. We can't really set traps. Oh, this is awful. That's just really unfortunate how the game screwed us there. That's really unfortunate. We don't even have eyes on the drones. That's about as bad as... It. Like, I don't even know how the hell we got vision. Like, there's no way we have vision on this individual. We're no way we have access. So that's, that's definitely a bug. And uh, we're paying for it now. So hopefully, we can't even get out the door. He's like, ah! Can't even open the door. He's like, I'm just going to stay down here. It's going to be fine. The drones up and kill the VIP. I'm going to be very pissed off. It's going to be a sad day. It's going to be a sad day. All right. Well, we got to think of the options we do have. And that's going to be getting decent cover positions, setting up overwatches on the drones, and maybe getting grenades down on this guy. It's going to be tough to reach, though. So I have to watch the drones on the right side. We can depend on some poison here. Yeah, poison is off a of CD. So we get Stoop Clo to handle that. Get the poison on that feller. I mean, we can't really get a grenade in. No, we can. 
Might be able to get it from high ground then. Let's see. Let's get the poison on it. That's going to be important. It's going to reduce movement. It's going to reduce aim. And it's going to do damage. So it's a good overall ability at the outset. All right, stay there. And now we're going to be hit by constant reinforcements while we're trying to get down here to get to this. So this is going to be really shitty to try and extract. I'm I'm really pissed right now. If you can hear in my voice, I the frustration is should be palpable. All right, let's get a grenade down because we're not going to have too many more options beyond that. Mad Dog's going to have to shotgun overwatch this. We're going to have to shotgun overwatch our back end, which is not great. Ah, Biza Nets, get over here. So we have a couple flesh options in case things get really shitty, but... Yeah, we can get a sectoid whacked here. Frag out. Between that and the poison, that sectoid may be dealt with effectively. Oh, we actually blew up the cover like we never do. Well, that might provide us with an opening here. We do have to watch those drones. The drones can come right over. Le Roi, can we get a shot in edgewise on the sectoid here? We can, actually. Alright, that flanking shot might be what the doctor ordered, honestly. That's right, 60% only, but I think it's worth taking. How much is the poison going to deal? Five turns, okay. Fucking awesome, so let's go ahead and take a shot. Might be able to get a kill here, if not the poison will deal with him. Got the kill handled. Alright, that's fine. I don't mind burning poison on that, that's totally cool. The rest of us are going to have to take overwatches for the drones and the reinforcements that are about to drop. Necromancer Zombie can't really do much. Mad Dog's gonna have to be here to watch All the reinforcements. Right, We're gonna be go. depending on her to knock him down, I think. On Overwatch. Zombie, just wait a second. You're gonna be able to punch stuff pretty soon. Yeah, we gotta have to figure out a way to deal with this pack, whatever it's gonna be. We got riot control and the troopers, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. What's that? I understood that. My advent's pretty rusty, but I understood that one. Three damage. Five damage. So we're spreading the damage out, which I'm not too keen on. That'll do, though. That'll do nicely. So how many are alive? Oh, you took the high ground here. The zombie can handle you. Gunslinger can be handled. Riot control. And they activated on the VIP? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Alright, we have... Wow, this got shitty quickly. This got shitty. Couldn't you even stun zombies? I don't even know. Oh my god! Oh, this mission just went to hell in a handbasket. Alright, so there's, there's obviously a transparency glitch with this. Because we've got problems, man. We've got seven active enemies, basically through not my own fault. Uh, through a glitch in the system, so that is really unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. I may have to drop a lot of explosives to make this happen. I'm gonna figure out how to do this next time. Till then, till we deal with the continued bullshit, I've been Urse. This has been XCOM, and oh man, and not much to say. It's been XCOM. Till next time. <laughs> Till then.